In today's video, we are going to dive into the world of speech recognition with Python using the Google Cloud Speech to Text API. I'll walk you through a Python script step by step to transcribe an audio file into text. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. First, let's install the Google Cloud Speech Library. So I'll quickly run the cell. The installation is done. Now the next thing that I have to do is I have to restart the runtime. So I'll quickly go to restart. So I'll quickly go to runtime. I'll press on restart runtime and I'll press yes. Now that I've restarted the runtime, let's move forward. Next up, let's import the required libraries. We need the Google Cloud speech library as well as some other standard libraries. So I'll quickly run the cell. In order to start using Google speech to text library, what you will require is you will require the credentials of the API. All you have to do is you have to go to Google cloud speech to text project page, click on create credentials and basically you can download the credentials. It's a fairly simple task. What you would get in turn is a file like this, which contains your credentials. So I have the file called as project underscore credentials dot JSON which is something that I'll save into an environment variable called as Google underscore application underscore credentials. So I'll quickly run this cell. Just to be sure that this particular JSON file is part of the environment variable, I'll call the echo function and I'll pass in this particular variable that I've just created. So let's run this piece of code as well. So as you can clearly see, we've successfully created an environment variable that kind of points to the JSON file that we've just loaded. Before I show you how to convert speech to text, one thing that I've done is I've uploaded a small file called as input underscore audio dot wav or wav file. So this is the file that I'll use for transcribing and I'll kind of generate text from this particular audio file. So with the context out of the way, let's move forward. So in this function, I'll go line by line. And the first thing that I'll do is in order to use the Google's speech to text service, I'll first need to create a client, which is what I've created in the first line of code. In the second name, whatever input file is passed as an input is saved into a variable called as file underscore name. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to load the audio file into memory. We'll open the file in the binary mode and read its content, which is what we are doing here. In the next piece of code, we need to configure the speech recognition settings such as encoding and language code, which is what I've achieved in this piece of code. Finally, we are ready to send the transcription request to Google Cloud, which is what I've achieved using this piece of code. Whatever response is returned by the Google speech to text module, is what I kind of go through in terms of the result variable and wherever I find a result, I kind of print that out. So basically this piece of code is reading and printing the transcription results. So if this function is clear to you, let's move forward. Now in the final piece of code, I go over all the files in the current working directory. If the files extension is WAV, then I basically call the generate text function and I kind of transcribe that audio file and generate text out of it. So let me run this cell now. So this is the text to speech output. Hello, 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 what's up? So essentially this is exactly what I had spoken in the audio file while recording the file. It's doing a tremendous job in terms of extracting whatever is spoken. So I'm truly amazed by Google's speech to text capabilities. And that's about it. We've just created a Python script that uses the Google speech to text API to transcribe an audio file. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more exciting Python tutorials. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.